Today's Wednesday, April 24th, and uh, our temperature's reading at about 72 degrees, and we're about 45 outside today, so it's a pretty good day out here in Utah. Just thought I'd give an update, take a look at my lettuces. I've harvested a couple of heads, but I've got my red leaf lettuces coming on now, and uh, you know they're doing pretty good. We've got some of the curly leaves. And we're getting some nice big curly leaves. And I've been harvesting some of the heads out of here so that I could take the spinaches and, and let them grow also. Now, you know, in this bed I've got some onions and some garlics. And you'll notice I started a few heads of lettuce. They are not the happiest with the transplant right now, but two of them will be fine. They were put in a day ago. Uh, strawberries are starting to flower. You know, I think they're going to be pretty good. I'm not sure how to pollinate. I imagine I can just kind of do that or if they just take care of themselves. But uh, this is a bin with a few different strawberry plants in it. And then it's been overcast with lettuce. And I've been using these for, you know, my experimentation. Um, it, just a, a wide, I kind of trenched a few rows, threw seeds in it, and uh, just let it grow. So, you know, these can be cut and eat like this, and they're kind of they're kind of soft, but you'll notice when I pull them out, you can kind of see that root, you know. So, I think they're just about right to take and transplant into other things and uh, do some more stuff with them at this size. You know, they're, they're pretty strong, but they don't like direct sunlight because I've got this Solex, and, you know, we don't get direct sunlight in here. That would be a little nicer to have just a little bit more sun but what I'm going to do with these I'm going to take these and transplant them into peat pellets and they'll probably go out in the aquaponic or sorry the hydroponic rail and the reason is I tried swamp uh, that blue swamp cooler pad and it doesn't hold moisture so it dries out around the sides and it just runs along the bottom which is really you know kind of defeats the purpose like a peat will hold moisture or, or I hear the coconut the quare does too but uh, anyway, so that's kind of what I'm up to. We're just going to be taking, you know, some of these little uh, peat plugs. I'll soak them in some aquaponic water, put a bunch of these starts in them, and get them going so I can move them in and out, you know, of the, the direct sunlight, with the goal being to thin this bed down too, because it's just, you know, it's kind of overrun. Yeah, we can cut it and eat them, and they taste fine, but I think the leaves are more crisp when they get to this particular size so anyways uh, I do have a tomato plant that's starting to come up in here and the celeries have been coming up forever they're just taking forever wish I would have maybe done something different there but it is what it is now these are almost ready for a transplant you can see they're getting their second leaves I'm gonna let them get a little bit bigger these are big beef and I want the dirt to dry out just a little bit more too. I've been watching a few people on YouTube on how they do it and they broadcast like this and then they dry it out. So we'll see how well that works. And I had some bad dirt, lost a bunch of stuff. So we're back to, you know, a few different seedlings and some areas. I'm trying some yellow pear tomatoes and uh, uh, spaghetti squash. Went and met with a nursery and what they're doing with their dirt is it's just peat moss and perlite, and I put fertilizer in, and I didn't put slow-release fertilizer in, and it pretty much had its way with all my plants. So, anyway, the system's doing well. Temperatures are good. The water is, you know, super clear. I run the pump 24 hours a day. I've already fed the fish today. I feed them, feeding them this, get it at Walmart. I put in about one pellet of fish or maybe a half a pellet of fish depending on how cold the water is or if there's any left over. But they've been eating all of it. So, yeah, there's the greenhouse. We're doing pretty well with the, the aquaponics stuff. And, you know, we'll try and do some dirt transplants this year. Last year, you know, I was able to, I was able to go from the dirt into here, but trying to go from here back to dirt was a huge problem and that's why we're going to do some experiments with the peat moss and see because I know once I get it in some peat moss you know that'll get it kind of used to a soil media around it 
and then maybe we can move them out to the dirt. And that would be really nice because then I could start broadcasting, you know, in this setup instead of this setup and move. And the one plants, you know, if you have a setup like this, lettuces, they kind of do okay moving, and the onions and the strawberries and the tomatoes. Peppers don't like to get moved, and the cucumbers don't like to get moved. You mess with the roots of those plants, and I've pretty much lost everything whenever I, you know, do too much with the root mass on those. So, you know, be, you know buyer beware, I guess. But anyways, you know, thanks for watching, and uh, hope your gardening goes good, too.